<laughs> no, I'm literally poetry in motion. If poetry can stab you with a sword. <coughs> I can't do this voice acting much longer. My throat can't take it. Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Guild Wars 2, our Revenant playthrough. I bought some new gear because I'm tired of dying super fast, so we've got a little bit more gear going on that is close or is our current level of 32. Most everything here is level 32. I was mishmashed between levels like 15 and 30 as my gear like i had pauldrons that were gear level 30 and then the rest uh yeah the rest were bad so now we're all geared up to being a little bit higher uh gear level and uh, i think that is good we're going to be continuing with the personal story and it's if i believe all the way over here again so last episode we dug up our friend's grave his body wasn't even there so it was kind of just desecration for desecration's purpose and uh now we're just uh continuing with the what are we doing studying i think the amulet that we found the undead type of amulet thingy yeah i believe that's what we're doing all right so we gotta go up and to this way yes indeedy yes indeedy well i hope you guys are having a great day i am having a, a wonderful day having a good time doing these episodes back to back as per usual when i record these things so i haven't seen any comments or anything from the last episode um but one of the main things that i wanted to ask up front that i asked in the, near the end was what in the world do you do with like things like this that are pretty much worthless at this point uh, I usually just destroy them because <laughs> you can't break them down. And so it seems kind of dumb to keep them. Oh, who is that? Is that an actual like fallen dude? Or are you an actual fallen person? No, you're just a serif soldier. Oh, and you're a serif dude. Okay, serif soldier, you can stay dead. If you're a real player, then I would actually save you. But uh, apparently you are not. So I don't give one iota. Um, I, I really hope, I really hope that I can tank these things better. Dude, don't you shoot me. Yes, get me out of here. I don't want to be in combat with those dingbats. Dangerous research. Our best people are working on the amulet. With your help, we'll get results even sooner. Okay, I don't know exactly how we're going to be helping um with this but uh whatever um i hope you guys are liking the playthrough i'm i'm having fun i honestly well, i love the priory they're all polite and they've got the best what toys dingy d d d dinky you're dingus dinky the dingus oh my gosh oh we're just here so is there actually dangerous research or no oh we gotta go up okay Ooh, that beam. Sometimes the camera is, makes me like like that. That makes me feel <laughs> feel bad. I don't like it. Okay, who are you, Lady Scholar Vivian? Scholar Vivian, I'd like you to meet the centurion who helped collect the necromancer's amulet. I trust your team's analysis is going well. We're making good progress, especially since we split the amulet up among three of our best researchers. You were able to break the amulet apart? That sounds more like a success than progress. Each fragment remains functional, though. That tells us Risa probably struck her amulets from an original source. We're very close to a breakthrough. Check in with each of my team members and you'll see. You might even be able to speed things this along. This is weird looking armor. Like not usually I don't I don't f care to point out stuff like that, but that's just weird looking. I mean, am I wrong? Is it just it's just weird. It's like skin tight everywhere else. But then I don't It's just strange with female armor just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Honestly, it just half half the time. I feel like games don't do it correctly and don't do it like actually how it should be. Fiona seize the moment. 
Here, what? Seize the moment. Okay, here, here to observe. I'm about to test a particularly exciting round of reagents. Don't let me interrupt. Actually, I could use some assistance and a witness. So far, it's been a series of failures, but this time I've got it. What can you do? I do. I've been dropping sl slivers of the amulet into different alchemical brews. Pick one of the containers on the workbench. I'll drop a sliver in. We'll both observe the result. Random mixtures sound dangerous, but if you get results, don't you want to tell me what's in the containers or what I should expect? I've been approaching this too scientifically, so I'm ready to try something less controlled. <laughs> to be honest, I was about to get Miss Meowmers to help me pick the agents. You're kind of insane, aren't you? Well, at least I outrank the cat. Let's do this. Okay, so what are we doing? Assist. Study the past and survive the future. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got that. Okay, okay. Here we're gonna we're gonna take this. Ah, we're the yellow brew. Like the yellow. This should be interesting. Here goes. Hmm, that didn't seem to do anything. More dead ends. Well, that was not fun. Okay, red. Red. Brew. I love that color. Excellent choice. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, dear. My Fire. gosh! Quickly, get the water before we lose everything. Okay, where's the water pail? I don't know. I'm not the storage lackey. Why is the water pail outside in the snow? I don't know. Just douse the flames. Stop. Stop burning. Also, why are you on the ground? Do something. Whoa, that was exciting. Excuse me while Goodness. I'm here for a bit. Would you uh, inform Vivian of our... um? <clears throat> results what results we mixed something and caused it to explode and light the building on fire oh wait she's not up here anymore okay oh you're right here scholar Havris. knowledge is the greatest treasure is it i'm telling you love is probably better than knowledge no, love because at least with no, love you feel something no. knowledge is just cold and unending is it possible to physically destroy the crystal? You're just in time to find out. I'm about to make a breakthrough with my hammer. I have a hammer. That doesn't sound like a good idea. On the contrary, stress testing is always the first step in any demolition project. Now stand back. Watch me pound this to powder. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. I'm getting out of here. What? Sir, do it on the anvil, you womp. Oh. That was unexpected. Oh, Better okay, here, how about we do this, anything, and then we do this, and then we do this, and then we do the what do 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 Oh, yeah, okay, the sword's I'll pretty fun. I'll Vivian know my results. And I didn't die instantly. So, what? What are you yelling at me? What are you yelling at me? Hmm? Pink eyes? It's a condition. You should get that checked I out. I don't point at the crown spikes on your head. Hey, you run away. I'll you know, having the double swords away. makes me look a little more hey, epic. Here. I mean, my armor also is better and matches now, so... And I also look like I have, like, a Ow. sick crown on. Cluckers is trying to eat my face! Kill him! Kill him now! Get out of here, Cluckers! He was after the other shard I had. I'll miss him. At least he'll be an interesting dissection. And dinner. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> He got to get taken down by a chicken. It's not my fault. He's a I at least got me. taken down by like 15 zombies at once. We've learned a lot about the crystal powering Reese's amulets. We've it learned nothing. It seems to be Orion Dragon corruption made solid. It resonates with death energy. I could have told you that. It kills and reanimates the wearer and then makes them into a focal point for other undead. Mr. Cluckers proved that the crystal fragments remain connected and are drawn to each other. If we can find the original source of this crystal, Fiona's reagents can nullify it, and we should be able to shut them all down. Excellent work, especially in the face of an army of shades and an undead chicken. Now how do we find the original crystal to nullify it? I believe we can cobble together a locator device synced to the crystal's energy that would lead right back to the original. Do it. We need to find the source, and I need to find my dead warband mate. Thank you, Scholar. Yahala, let's report back to the Citadel. Yahala! Let's do it. Meet Ritlock back at the Citadel. Polar Bear. Why can't I play as a Polar Bear? Oh, there's a hero challenge here. I might as well do this. Razor Wing Nest Challenge. Oh, excuse me. Whoa! Yeah, you can't kill me.
Wait, can I hit you up here? Oh, I can. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Sounds like fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you knock me down, you fool? You absolute wombat. Yeah, pulse. Pulse. See, I'm trying, I'm trying to do this, do this class right. I'm trying to do right by this class, you know, because I've been, I've been really bad at uh, previously using my abilities here. These guys, the main whole concept of the, the class, I'm just really bad at it sometimes. And I've been trying my best to, oh, I should uh, also discover this waypoint so I don't actually have to run back. Also, there's two, there's waypoints like right next to each other. Is this like a guild one? probably oh it's probably because it's contested there's three right here what <laughs> why i don't understand all right back to the black citadel but i'm really trying to do better about uh using my class's abilities properly like the, the f1 f2 um I'm just inherently bad at it. I don't know why I, I can't seem to grasp using it. I don't know if it's because I don't play this game every single day. I play it like every few days. And so I just like never get into the groove of it. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe there's also there, I know there's a proper way to play. But I also just may not be someone that uh, does things perfectly. And I'm, I'm honestly I'm fine with that because Look at that. You I genuinely here. don't know what's going on and in half, half the time when I'm doing an MMO. Looking to working that. with the Citadel on this Tribune. As is the Order of Whispers. The dragons want us to come at them individually. That's why we, we shouldn't do that. Glad to have both of you aboard. We're going to need reliable information from here on. Not to sell the vigil short. Their firepower is always an asset. No I need to flatter to me, nope. Tribune. I know research isn't the Vigil's strong suit. As long as what we're doing eventually leads to the dragons, we don't mind. Guys, we already I already heard this. My gosh, why do I have to hear conversations twice? Eager to hear your report, Centurion. We are seeing an increase in undead attacks all over the region. Safe to say Reese's amulets are responsible. We've learned that they're connected to the Orion Dragon. They turn their owners into undead and draw other undead to them. The Vigil has one of the amulets stashed in our HQ. Are you saying that my people are in danger? Not in danger. You militant types ought to be used to that by now. With so many innocents at stake, the Vigil can defend itself. The Priory is working on a way to detect the amulets. We'll use our device to stop the next outbreak before it starts. And if the Vigil falls, who will defend all those innocents it already protects? And while you're working that out, I'll withdraw to confer with my superiors. You have a tough choice ahead of you, Centillion. What's it going to be? Why, why are all the decisions made by me? Like, I am just one man. Char. Cat. Whatever I am. So is this... Okay, so what do I need to do? decide how to proceed okay okay what what do you have to say the vigil has no idea what they're doing our detector is the only way to save lives and find out what happened to your former war band it's the only choice okay and then what do you have to say they threaten vigil headquarters itself come defend it with me and i promise the vigil will set out in force to collect the necromancer's amulets and help you find your missing war band member hmm man this one's tough because I can see both options being good, but my dude's not really a scribe. I kind of like to just slap things with my sword. So I think I'm going to go with the Crusader Tower Breaker. I think that fits more in line with my character. I knew I could count on you, soldier. See you at Gendaren Fields, where we'll put those undead down for good. I'll be there. Do I get a level up? 31. Oh, I got a new helmet, but it's it's worse than the one I have. Hey, we gotta die. Hail die. <laughs> Some of the dies you get, just, 
I I genuinely think they're the same die as every other one that I get. It just seems like there's so much overlap in the colors. All right, where are we going up here? No. Over here. Weird. Why are we back? Why are we exploring around like we're like going all over the map now? I'm surprised. I think when I was doing the Norn, I guess we didn't get this far in the in our Ranger playthrough though. So that may I mean I guess that makes sense. Um maybe it was better to go here. No. Where's the path? How do I get out of here? Do I go this way? Mm, maybe. Yes. Yes indeedy. Don't touch me cat cats. Don't touch me bats. Uh, huh? Oh, I bet it's up above me because I'm a dingus and I don't pay attention to where things are on the map. I gotta say, the Guild Wars 2 world, uh, let's discover this point. Scarlet armies have been driven back by brave heroes. Well, that's good. I'm not a brave hero, so I did nothing. Alrighty, got that discovered. Now let's commence with the story hello big boy yeah enter the instance defending the keep hi dinky now that's a fortress needs more cannons though and spike traps i love those dinky you are you are just glorious the worst to have part around. is waiting before the attack you scared yet rookie should I be? I'm more anxious than scared. This situation is very new to me. Ha! No, there's nothing to be scared of, Rosebud. Not with me watching your back. I think you meant that to sound reassuring, but I'm not that reassured. Why'd you call her Rosebud? She's got a name. It's Vigil Crusader. Rendezvous with Gone Tower Breaker at the Vigil. Okie dokie, I can do that, you know? I can do that. We don't have so enough So if you've never fought yet. in a real battle alongside one of us, you're in for a treat. I haven't fought beside a char, but I did step on a cat's tail once. Is that what it's like? <laughs> Funny. No. I'm literally poetry in motion. If poetry could stab you with a sword. By the spirits, if the undead don't attack soon, your tail is so stepped on. Mm, meow. Nice banter. Okay. Hello, gone. Dude, you're in different armor, aren't you? You got all geared up for this. You're looking nice. Oh, this no, place looks ready armor. for war, gone. I'm impressed. After all this preparation and building up our defenses, I'll be disappointed if we're not attacked. This plan is simple. The ramp you just came up is the only way in. We've set up barricades to slow down and thin out attackers. You can also use the cannons to welcome our undead visitors. If they get through all that, we'll fall back to the keep. That means you too, Centurion. Our house, our rules. We want live soldiers, not dead heroes. If the vigil falls back, you fall back. Clear? Clear. Is there anything I should do in the mean? And the defenses. I will man the defenses. Yes, I will. We're gonna grab the cannons. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, is that where it's supposed to be aimed? Eh. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Right there. Hiya! I don't know what that did. Excuse me. Did you break the cannon? You jerk. No. You try my patience. That's it. Fall back to the keep. My. What the? Yeah, that's that. that that's here. a lot of dead guys. We'll hold them here. Dig in. We'll hold them here. Oh my gosh, they're appearing right in front of our eyes. Come on, Dinky, get up. 
There we go. Oh my gosh, they're just continually spawning. What I, I, I what am I supposed to do? Whoa, you guys are big boys. Okay. That was weird. That was dragging on for a lot longer than I thought Scorch it should. me. What are those things? Zaitan. And we're going to keep seeing more. More undead that are more dangerous than usual. More often. They weren't playing around, were they? Is it just me, or are these amulets getting stronger? It's definitely getting worse. And if an amulet isn't even safe inside a vigil fortress, it's time to rethink our approach. Let's get back to Ritlock and the others. We need to stop these outbreaks before the landscape is hip deep and undead. Agreed. I need to deal with our casualties here, and then I'll meet you at the Black Citadel. Okay, that sounds like a plan. We leveled up. Huzzah. Precision, toughness, vitality, precision. Let us go and talk to Ritlock and figure out what in the world we're supposed to be doing here. Uh, we also, we leveled up with, and we got these which are better. So we'll do that. We got that. Cool. Did we get points? For hero points? Ah, we did. We did. We did. We did. Okay, dwarf, I want this guy. Because now, wrong thing, wrong thing. There we go. And then this, channel the power of the right of the great dwarf to turn yourself and nearby allies to stone, reducing incoming damage. So is this a channel? Um, no, not a channel. Okay. Where? Confused. Oh, we just have to enter the instance. This one seems like it's going to be right up my alley, considering I die so fast. Wild animal, your face. The orders disagree on how to proceed, so I have a plan. You choose which one will help. In return, I have arranged for you to permanently join that order. <laughs> you'll still be a centurion of the High Legions. But you'll also be a link between us and your chosen order. Your warband will continue doing Citadel business while you're gone. I understand. Hal's involvement made this personal. But the Orion Dragon is a global threat. We need strong, reliable allies against it. Okay, people. Time to decide. We have the means to find the Necromancer's Dragon Crystal. And to destroy it. All thanks to the Priory. We know what we're doing, so let us destroy the crystal without interference. We work better that way. There's no way I'm leaving a vital search and destroy mission to a bunch of academics. Wait for the vigil support before you make a move. Either way, the Order of Whispers will do what we always do. Let you draw their attention. Then we strike from the shadows. It's your call, Centurion. But remember that you're not just helping out. You're joining the order you choose. Okay, here comes the pivotal moment. Dinky, what do you have to say? I guess in the rest of the warband, but Dinky, you're really it. I have heard you're leaving us to join one of the orders. I'm accepting a special assignment from the Tribune, and the warband will need a leader while I'm gone. That's you, Legionnaire. Yeah, Dinky. Me? I'm not that smart to give orders. I can follow them, or pass them along. Are you sure about this? I need someone I can trust. Someone effective. You've got some rough edges? But there's nobody else I'd want calling the shots. If anyone objects, send them to me. Or just crack their heads until they think different. You're in charge now. Act like it. I know you can handle this. Ah. Thanks, boss. You can count on me. Good luck, Lions Arch. We'll be waiting when you get back. Dinky has been promoted! Okay, what do we want to do? Let's see. What are our options again? We got the shadow, the whispers peeps ready to join the silent ranks of the Order of Whispers. Remember, this choice is permanent, so be certain to your commitment. It's important, so I do need to consult 
everybody. Join the scholarly ranks of the Durham and Priory. Remember, this is permanent. Or gone tower breaker. Time to squat or get off the pot, soldier. I could destroy I you. <laughs> Remember, if you join, it's for life. I'm into this guy. I will. I, I think this is the, the more fun route. The vigil is the right choice, soldier. You'll be a strong asset to us. Your skills will make a real difference in the world. The Vigil understands what this is. War. The dragon threat needs to be confronted head on, starting with the necromancer, Risa. By now, Hal is most likely one of her mindless minions. He deserves to rest in peace. And she deserves to die. What's our next move? Direct assault with overwhelming force. The Priory can destroy the crystal, but we will clear the way for them to do so. If they falter, or their magic potion fails, we'll bash it until it shatters. Meet me at Lichcroft Mirror, and we'll put an end to this. Oh, we're still going? Or is this not, or is this, is it done? Oh, how, how's this hammer in comparison? Oh, much better. Uh, much, much better. Okay. I haven't been using the hammer because I want to get used to up close and personal combat. And the hammer is just not that. All right, Brewberries. I think that's going to be where we leave off this episode. Uh, mainly, like, I think we only have one more thing to do for this section of the story. But I don't want to make this like an hour long episode. So I'm going to call it there and we'll pick back up in the next episode of Guild Wars 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life and I'll see you guys next episode. Uh, bye bye.